Hey there, John from My Solar Home. If you're exploring energy storage for your solar powered home, or just curious about the future of batteries, this one's for you. Today we're talking about a battery that literally breathes air and runs on iron and rust. No, it's not science fiction. Iron air batteries could be the breakthrough that gives us hundred hours of power at a fraction of the cost of lithium. Let's dive into this game-changing technology. Imagine a battery that lasts four straight days, uses one of the most abundant materials on Earth, iron, and costs 80% less than lithium ion. It doesn't catch fire, it's non-toxic, and it works when the sun doesn't shine and the wind doesn't blow. That's the promise of iron air battery technology. But how does it work? Is it really coming soon? Let's find out. What's an iron air battery? Iron air batteries work on a very simple idea. Iron plus air is equal to energy. Here's how. When the battery discharges, it rusts. Iron, ferrous, rusts into ferrous oxide, FeO. When the battery charges, it reverses the rusting, converting that iron oxide back into pure iron. This is called a reversible oxidation reduction reaction. And it happens over and over again. So yes, this is literally a rust powered battery. It doesn't rely on expensive materials like cobalt, nickel, or lithium. It's made from low cost iron, water, and air. So are there any real world players? The leader in this space is Form Energy. They're based out of Massachusetts. They have developed an iron air battery designed for grid scale and long duration storage. Their goal is to deliver 100 hours of continuous energy cheaper than any chemical battery on the market. And guess what? They've already broken ground on a factory in West Virginia to start mass production. This isn't a lab dream. It's real and it's happening now. So why does it matter? Here's the big picture. You're storing energy for 100 hours. That's four plus days of backup. No rare earth metals to be used, just abundant iron. Non-toxic, recyclable, no fire risk, safer than lithium, massively cheaper. It's projected to be one-tenth the cost of Tesla's Megapacks. It's perfect for communities in the grid, especially during multi-day outages. It's designed for situations where you need massive storage, not milliseconds of fast energy. Of course, it has limitations. Iron air isn't perfect. The battery is huge. It's about the size of a shipping container. So it's not yet ready for homes. Currently, it's designed for the grid or community scale. Response times are slower than lithium, so it's not great for quick bursts of energy. It's still early stage, but commercial rollout is beginning in 2025 and 26 as I speak. So this isn't a replacement for your Tesla Powerwall or your Enphase battery just yet, but it's a complementary technology that fills a big gap long duration, low cost storage. Let's bring it back home. If you're a homeowner thinking about backup during a multi-day blackout, imagine this. Your rooftop solar charges your home battery during the day, but if clouds roll in for three or four days, you either need a generator or a new kind of battery. That's where iron air could shine. Soon you might see community level microgrids powered by solar plus iron air batteries, keeping your neighborhood lights on even in the darkest of storms. Let's look at a real life case study. Form Energy's first big project, a one megawatt, 100 hour battery installation for XL Energy in Minnesota. This system will help store wind and solar energy to power entire towns for days without burning coal or gas. It's proof that resilient clean energy storage just isn't about lithium anymore. 
So how does the future look? Form Energy's goal is to replace coal and natural gas peaker plants with iron ore storage. The more wind and solar we install, the more we need storage that lasts days and not just hours. And iron air could be the missing puzzle piece that finally lets us transition to 100% renewables power. Reliably, affordably, and safely. Iron air batteries are not about flashy specs or fast response. They are about durability, affordability, and energy equity. As manufacturing ramps up, you might soon find your town, city, or even your utility being powered by rust. Pretty amazing, right? So what do you think? Could we see iron air batteries replacing gas backup someday? Let me know in the comments below. And if you want to keep up with cutting edge solar and battery tech, make sure you hit that like and subscribe and ring that bell for me. This is John from My Solar Home. I'll see you in the next one.